scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. light afflictions the bible says which walketh in us a far more exceeding weight of glory listen to me it says while we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen he said for the things that are seen are temporal that means subject to change but the things that are unseen are eternal the version of you now is not the version the world is waiting for be patient with god let him build you to be a man of god with fire a woman of God with power, an exceptional CEO. Please hear me. A day will come, do you know, many of the houses you have passed in this city are your own. Not just the, listen, but it's not this version of you they are looking for. There is a version of you that will evolve. You will buy those houses like you are buying recharge card and it will not even be a testimony because you have risen far beyond that realm. If you had seen my life say maybe 20 years ago it may not look like it now the only thing that you may see that represents hope is vision not results vision for someone you came here and they are all kinds i'm saying this particularly to our dear young people we have a generation that is too impatient they look at you and they just feel till now your life has not moved you are still trekking and you feel stupid for serving god you feel stupid for walking in pace with god can i tell you there is a name god is called hebrews 11 and verse 6 he is called the rewarder the rewarder not of everybody of them that diligently seek him hallelujah many years ago the lord told me he said son if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you honestly i'm not sure i understood the gravity of that statement i don't even talk about myself and share testimonies is 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 it will become a distraction that is unnecessary the most important thing i can tell you is to god be the glory god has carried many people's lifetime lifetime and brought at a platter the things we have seen the things we have heard the things our hands have handled you are not learning cunningly devised fables no I never imagined in my life that I'll be talking with heads of government across nations and to them it would be a privilege for them to talk with Joshua Selman and sometimes when I'm talking I'm saying God look what you can do listen I have seen levels of honor and I tell you with all humility that sometimes it's not it's not very safe 
to begin to share with people as they rise but I have seen many great things in this life I can tell you the benefits when you influence people you've heard some of them most times I just repeat testimonies that I've said before so that it does not become a distraction from one one giant one giant real estate company alone huh? who entered a covenant with God that everywhere in the world they build an estate they must build a house for me I don't even know how many of them are here now I've not even gone I think just one of them I don't know how many of them I was in a particular nation years ago and when I was done on my way to return back the man of God called me and a group of business people were there and they said listen this is what there is a partnership between that nation and the American government this and that there is an estate we decided to give you five properties from that time till now I've not gone there to check what has happened I don't say these things to brag I hope you get the point hallelujah a day comes when you yourself you become you don't just give value you are the value yourself one of the blessings that God promised Abraham was I will make your name great you know what it means by the time your name is great, many people can leverage on the name and be great too. If you are great alone and your name is not great, it dies with you. That is the tragedy of Africa. Children cannot use the name and the leverage of those before them to rise. When you hear McDonald's today, it's a great name. Anybody can ride on that name and rise. But for us here, somebody will rise and be great and die and everybody behind him will have to pay the price for all the battles he didn't fight then start from ground up again he said I will make your name great that is influence today the top three religions across the world all came from one man one man all of them from one man hmm. the Jews Islam Christianity all came one man in fact God willed the whole earth to one man what's that what sort of thing is that how can God will the earth Abraham become my Abraham and I will be your God your reward is that you will raise sons that will honor me my reward is I give you the earth so the Bible says, look unto Abraham your father and unto Sarah your mother that bare thee. He said, for I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. Isaiah 51 from verse 2. Ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. Influence is not a mistake. A generation will not follow you just because you want them to follow you. And it is not about social media and likes and follows. That can be such deception. We're talking about people who love you to a point that they can die for you that they love you they have acknowledged the hand of God upon your life and they have they have received you as the face and the voice of God to their generation let me show you one scripture and we'll wrap up my apologies for have, have I wasted your time one last scripture and then we'll pray blessed be the name of the Lord Acts chapter 13 and verse 36 Acts 13 36 and then we'll pray I like us to read it together as loud as you can you see it projected never forget this scripture in fact let's read it from amplified my dear people give us your amplified version and then we'll read and we close ready one two read for David after he had served the purpose of God in his own generation stop where did he serve in his own that means purpose and influence is generational you are not going to serve every generation when god calls you he does not just give you an assignment he gives you an age range of influence from this to this 
listen the generation of our father in the lord baba deboy no matter how anointed i am even if i raise the dead in front of them they will love me and say apostle you are such a nice person let me go and listen to our father because he was sent to that generation are we together now the same way there are wonderful young people as much as they love the fathers they will listen to them and say thank you but something in them just says i need every generation is in a pursuit for the voice all the voices that god has lifted may you be one of them Amen. that when there is a prophetic roll call where are the voices apportioned for this generation let it not be that your bishopric another will take because of carelessness and insensitivity this is what is, is at the heart of the intercontinental pastor to see how you can drive people to be relevant influence is about communicating the purposes of god as apportioned to your generation i made up my mind i do not have the intention and the ambition of doing everything for that would be foolish but as far as the context of my generation is concerned that we will shine the light and it will be so bright it will be said that by the privilege of god's grace during our time we were able to do the much that we could do for his majesty this is my drive this is why i wake up this is why i sleep this is why i travel this is why i do everything that i desire to do my call for you as i depart your city is that there is a voice of millions that are calling your name and saying we would have been more than this but some have died because you refuse to rise hear me man of god only god knows if you had walked with the holy spirit and kept in pace with your training by now you would have stepped into your season of manifestation somebody who died was allocated to your grace for their healing but because you refused to rise they had to go how many more people will die every day because of your carelessness this is the urgency that drives me for every time i refuse to pray i know somebody in a nation or somewhere in this nation will pay the price for that carelessness for every time i refuse to study my incompetence will have a direct effect on somebody's spiritual life there are nations that depend on the truth we communicate for the continuity of their spiritual progress i cannot afford to be careless it's too much of a risk listen ladies and gentlemen we are going to pray your prayer is going to be to cry for grace and say lord in my lifetime i must represent the purposes of god to my generation open your mouth and from the depth of your heart pray i don't know how you are going to cry to god oh but please don't look around cry to the god of heaven let it be from the depth of your heart you have taken the time to come here this morning you have labored in the spirit right from early in the morning finish up that investment by putting some energy to your prayer and david served the purposes of god in his generation i obtained grace i obtained grace someone is praying hallelujah hallelujah in the name of jesus we are still praying the bible says seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses it says let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and then it says to run with perseverance the race that is set before us looking unto jesus he says who is the author and the finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him the bible says he endured the cross and despise the shame someone is going to pray every weight 
weights are not necessarily wrong they are just luggages that are unnecessary relative to where god is taking you to lift your voice and cry every weight every distraction could be friends could be activities could be mindsets every weight every weight there is a great destiny there is a great destiny someone pray we're almost done someone pray let it be from the depth of your heart hallelujah 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 it said lo i come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do your will you are going to pray father the portion of relevance and influence you have connected to my life may i step into it lift your voice and pray the portion of influence the portion of kingdom relevance allocated unto me he gave unto one five talent he gave unto one two to another one but he gave everybody something pray regardless your background my dear brother my dear sister this god is able to lift men pray commanding kingdom influence for the sake of his majesty hallelujah for in Jesus name we pray let me speak over your life now you will be surprised to see what happens to your life after today I'm on my way to better days that will be your song I'm on my way to better days regardless your background you're on your way to better days. You're on your way to better days. Hear me. Ladies and gentlemen, please listen. The assignment of the prophetic, among many other things, is to grant you access to the grace that will help you to rise to that place of destiny for you see it is not given to you to honor yourself you can respect yourself but honor is conferred upon you by another i'm looking at people here this morning some of you have come from backgrounds like nathaniel said about jesus can anything good come out of nazareth sincerely speaking there are some of you if we are to be honest to analyze demographically speaking there is no advantage in terms of your earthly connection you will need to outsource help from a dimension that is higher than your background please help those under the anointing because i want to pray something is about to come on you this is my last assignment and then you leave we do not just rise in this kingdom it says thou anointest my head with oil and my cup runneth over he does not anoint the cup but i know what is on your cup by looking i know what is on your head by looking at the result on your cup if your cup is empty don't blame the cup it is because there is nothing on your head the cup is a reflection of what is on your head hear me i am a product of many anointings many anointings I have secured the blessing of many fathers by the privilege of God's grace. 
it is from the abundance of that which we receive that we give he said look on us and the bible says the man at get beautiful looked at them expecting to receive something and he says such as i have give i unto you there are some of you you may be you may look small and silent it looks like nobody has heard you but there is a prophetic destiny connected to you that you will so shake port Harcourt, river state i'm not just speaking in terms of ministry there are emerging businesses that will rise from this conference there are individuals who will be connected at a global scale my assignment is to release that grace upon you your assignment is to receive in the name of jesus the son of the living god i stretch my hand upon you i'm releasing this grace the grace that causes nations to hear your voice receive that anointing right now take that grace right now take take that anointing right now receive that grace receive that grace take that grace now receive that anointing in business in ministry i release that anointing upon you now i release that grace upon you now hear me the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon i don't know who is the help of your destiny but i want to call them by prophecy i speak to river state i speak over the south south everyone mandated by god to hold your hand in this season receive an anointing that attracts them to your life receive an anointing that attracts them to your life help them please receive an anointing that attracts them to your life esther chapter 2 and verse 15 the bible says and esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her verse 17 the bible says she the king loved esther more than all the virgins exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty emptiness has an explanation in the name of jesus may this grace for favor rest upon you let it rest upon you upon your business upon your family upon your ministry hallelujah hear me there is a grace for visibility neither do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel he told abraham he said from where thou art lift up your eyes you can look from where you are you don't need to go anywhere from where you are your hands may not get there your feet may not get there but your eyes can go there from where thou art he said lift up your eyes and look northwards southwards eastward that everywhere your eyes sees to you I have given us an inheritance i want to pray for the grace to be visionary because you see vision is more than a psychological thing it takes the spirit of god opening your eyes to see habakkuk said i will stand upon my watch and set myself upon the tower and i will see what you will say unto me in the name of jesus may your eyes be open to see hear me hagar was in the desert and yet there was an oasis in the desert and she could not see but when god opened her eyes she saw an oasis there was a lamb that was near abraham and yet he did not see it was until god told him there is a lamb and he saw a lamb that had been caught only god knows the opportunities around your life and ministry but until you have the eyes that sees and in ephesians chapter 3 and verse 9 there is an anointing that god gave paul and he has given it by extension to his holy apostles and prophets it is the grace that makes all men see I decree and declare the miracle of open eyes receive it now 
receive it now capacity to see into what God is doing in the name of Jesus Christ we're wrapping up give me a minute or two something is happening to you I want to declare restoration and speed listen 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 please look up you see the unit of destiny is time the unit of destiny is time hear me anything that takes your time has taken a portion of your life anything and one way that the devil aborts great destinies is to make you waste time through a mystery called delay you know what delay is delay happens to you when the only thing growing in your life is your age and there are two mysteries that remedy delay number one is called restoration number two is called speed when God wants to help you as far as the matters of destiny is concerned he will allow these twofold mysteries to be at work in your life the mystery of speed and the mystery of restoration time can be restored he said and I will restore the years speed can be given listen when when Jacob and Rebecca connived to act like Esau and they brought the venison for Isaac Isaac said how come you have come so fast you are not supposed to have arrived by this time and he said the Lord had shown me mercy let me pray for someone in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit everything that has left you that is not supposed to have left I stand by the mantle of the apostolic and the prophetic receive restoration now receive restoration I place it on your head I place it on your ministry I place it on your business I place it on your children in the name of Jesus Christ I declare speed and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab even down to Israel I pray for you may God take 10 years and put it in one year 10 years help them 10 years in one year I prophesy speed receive that grace I place that anointing upon you 10 years in one year hallelujah 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 my last prayer for you please listen you see we are made by these prophetic words we receive they are not empty words believe me there is a throne in heaven that backs these speakings hallelujah I want to speak finally over your life and release upon you the grace for honor look at me you know what honor is honor means to be acknowledged and rewarded to match your true worth that means it is possible to be perceived less than your true worth is that true when the grace for honor is upon you it mandates that men acknowledge and reward the hand of God in your life to match the degree of your sacrifice this is what many people lack in their lives they do not lack value they lack honor he said because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness 
therefore God is that in your Bible even my God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that makes you above your fellows Joshua was already full of the Holy Ghost and the Lord instructed him in Deuteronomy it says thou shalt take Joshua the son of Nun, in whom is the spirit and thou shalt lay your hands upon him and then he says thou shalt take some of your honor and give unto him so that the nation of Israel will hearken to him please look at me this generation is too busy too selfish and in many cases too wicked to pay indefinite dedicated attention to you except there is a grace that compels it so do not ever think except you are you want balloon success where you are up today and anything that happens you are down in shame tomorrow there is a grace that lifts men and keeps men But I know whom I believe, he says, and I am persuaded. I'm seeing light come on that woman with black, a black scarf. That woman. Yes. I just saw light, like light coming on her. In the name of Jesus, madam, I don't know what, but the Lord is saying your life is shifting to a new dimension beginning from today. Help her. honor is a grace that is the grace that will compel kings jesus had that grace even as a baby that was why the magi came why will the magi come to greet a baby what value had he provided at the point where he came there is a place for value but you cannot beat what honor does even for a baby at the infancy kings will start coming the magi saw a star and that star they followed that star and when they came they saw a baby they were not embarrassed they bowed before the baby and gave gifts of gold frankincense and myrrh this is what i want to pray for you finally my brothers and my sisters let me tell you what honor will give you in one day a lifetime may not be able to give you i know what i'm saying father in the name of your son jesus standing upon the grace of the intercontinental pastor and praying over your precious people here and across the overflows then by extension the many who are following by way of internet and television in the name that is above all names as we have received even from the fathers and those that have gone ahead of us from today over your life your business your family your ministry honor let it rest on you now I say it again honor let it rest on you now honor let it rest on you now let this man to drive away shame let this man to drive away reproach let this man to drive away shame let this man to drive away reproach hear me where you have been forsaken and forgotten so that no man passes through you i call you an eternal excellency a joy of many generations in the name of jesus christ may the lord bless you keep loving jesus keep serving him in truth do not forget the four pillars i have taught you do not forget all the teachings that came before mine and I pray that my God will lift you in Jesus name hello scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed 
and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you